The next two tunes are, are Big John's and the Cocktail. They're two reels. The first one uh, refers to Big John McManus, who'd be a relation of Pimpkins to his mother. And uh, the second one there is called The Cocktail. Uh, we learned both these tunes are from uh, Philip Clare Gary Hastings uh, when we were at the University of Victoria. But they're two great from Anna tunes. Okay. with 
wringing hands and a broken heart. She sent him off for Waterloo. He marched away both sad and sore till the battlefields came into view. But a bullet pierced his tender heart, that drummer boy at Waterloo. Oh, comrades, comrades, young Edmund cried, when the tears ran down from his eyes so blue. Go tell my mother that I have died, her drummer boy at Waterloo. They laid his head down on his drum, and the drum was wet with the evening dew. The night rolled on and the morning dawned. They laid him low at Waterloo. They dug his grave both long and deep. They dug it white and they dug it steep. was Margaret McElhaney's Drummer Boy at Waterloo. As I say, I'm going to say my second song is going from to be from the singing of Jimmy Houghton and the Highland Isle Doe. And Jimmy's song, uh, this is a version of one of those great broken love token songs, A Lady Stood in Her Father's Garden. <clears throat> a lady stood in her father's garden, a gentle man who were passing by. He stood a while and he gazed upon her. He said, young lady, would you fancy I? I am no lady, but a farmer's daughter, a farmer's daughter of low degree. And if you for to meet a lady, travel further, don't fancy me. It's seven years since I had a sweetheart, seven years since I didn't see, and seven more I will wait upon him. If he's alive, sure he'll come to me. If it's seven years since you had a sweetheart, seven years since you did him see, and seven more you will wait upon him. Perhaps this young man you'll never see. Well, if he's sick, sure I wish him better, and if he's dead, sure I wish him rest. If he's alive, then I love him dearly. He is the young man I do love best. It's when he saw that she'd been so truly, he felt a pity that she might be lost. I am your true and 
your single sailor that many's the time o'er the ocean crossed. If you're my true and my single sailor, your looks and features have changed to me. It's seven years on the wide, wide ocean makes an alteration between you and me. He put his hand down into his pocket, his lily white fingers being thin and small, drew out the ring that they broke between them, and when she saw it, then she did fall. He lifted her up in his arms so dearly, and he gave to her love and kisses three. I am your true and your single sailor. I've come from sea, love, to marry thee. Many thanks and have a great festival. <laughs>
Hi everyone, uh, uh, my name is Lawrence Nugent, I'm uh, coming to you here from Chicago. I'm from uh, Lack County, Fermanagh, and uh, thanks very much to Martin Donahue for asking me to participate here in uh, this year's Nya uh, Festival. Uh, I guess it's uh, the theme is a kind of uh, celebrating Ulster music and singers, etc. And I come from, you know, uh, a family of... Uh, singers and musicians and uh, you know my dad uh, the late Sean Nugent you know was a great fiddle player and well known in Fermanagh I'm sure a lot of people are there watching would know him and um, uh, he was the leader of the Pride of Erin and you know uh, when Martin asked me to do it just to say a few words you know uh, there was so many people uh, and I could leave out a few names here if I did, I'm sorry, but um, there's so many to mention the musicians and singers that came through our house growing up. Um, but you know, some of the great influences just locally on me were uh, Paddy Gallagher and Billy Rush. Uh, they were uh, um, from around the same village, Edirne. And then, you know, all the musicians that were in my dad's band uh, most of them are passed on now, and um, uh, Francie Quinn, uh, my cousin Feely Kearney, uh, my dad's cousin too, obviously, and um, uh, the great Sean McCusker from Dermore was a big influence on me, you know, um, he was a great accordion player, and he also played the flute and whistle, although I learned, uh, I learned a lot of music, most of my music from my dad, but you know, when I would get the odd tip from Sean when he would come by the house, you know, on the whistle or flute when I was a kid, you know. And um, there was uh, Francie Quinn, Felix Kearney, uh, uh, Sean McCusker, the Donnellys, uh, Breach and Maeve would come by. But actually, Breach was brought, got my first flute of her actually back. Uh, uh, of her when she was at the house many years ago practicing with the band and you know uh, all the players that came through the house there's too many to mention here but you know um, it was a great tradition you know to grow up with uh, and uh, of course there's thousands of musicians in Ulster now but um, you know, at that time, uh, back in the 70s, uh, early 70s, well, the mid 70s and 80s, um, you know, there was quite a bit of music, but, you know, it's not like nowadays, so unless going to the flas and stuff was when you'd meet other musicians from other parts, you know. But, um, you know, uh, in Fermanagh, sure, there's a great tradition on, all over the county, and, uh, you know, there's too many names to go through as I said earlier but some of the players that you know came through the house especially playing the flute I play the flute and whistle you know so um, Cahill McConnell the great Cahill and a great friend of the family and great friend to this day and um, to us all and uh, John Joe McGuire God rest him the puck uh, great flute player and uh, you know they were people I admired growing up you know and um, and still do to this day uh, great musicians uh, all around, you know, and um, of course then my, my good friends Pat McManus and Finton McManus and I could go on forever about the, the tradition and there's so many young players there now of all kinds and master players on many instruments, you know, so, um, but uh, it was such a privilege just to grow up with those guys and um, um, to be around you know, when you're a kid, you don't really realize that. But when you when you grow up, and uh, was blessed to be, uh, I was blessed to be uh, among such great musicians, and uh, um, I could go on forever. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna play a few tunes for you. So just to keep it in the uh, the uh, Ulster tradition, you know, and. Uh, play a couple of local tunes where I'm from so from from exactly from Lack and um, the first tune is a tune uh, written by my dad called The Monument uh, it's uh, a stone that was on the uh, the hills on behind my house in Largy 
and there was a monument there and my dad called the jig after that and the second one comes from another local fiddler that uh, you might not have heard of him a lot of people but if you look at the northern fiddler book that came out there's a picture of him in there and uh, uh, his name was Willie Johnston and he lived in uh, just outside of Lac too and um, uh, kind of a you know it's a jig that my dad got from him and I know that my good friend uh, Seamus McDonald there that played in the Pride of Erin also plays this and uh, my dad Billy Rush from Edirne played it uh, Paddy Gallagher but I didn't hear a lot of you know in my travels I haven't heard anybody ever really play it that much but um but I'm a little rusty and uh, thanks to Martin anyway for asking me so I'll give him a blast here and see what happens and then I will probably play a few more tunes for you but there will be no more talking and so thanks very much for having me and uh, here goes.
Well, hi there again. Um, I said um, I wasn't going to, uh, you know, speak much there at the end there of the last one, but I thought, you know, uh, as I said, it's hard to mention everyone, but I guess there's a lot of, when I listen back there to the, uh, myself doing it there, um, I forgot to mention uh, the other members that were in the Pride of Erin there that have passed, Francie Murphy, the great Francie Murphy from Five Mile Town in County Tyrone, and then a great, great accordion player, and uh, Mary Mulholland, the great piano pianist from uh, an Antrim, and uh, also uh, Paddy Culgan, the drummer, and uh, there's Charlie O'Donnell that was in the uh, Pride of Erin Keighley Band. You know, all these people were people that were around the house and were very decent to me uh, uh, when I was learning to play. And, uh, you know, and of course, uh, you know, my late sisters were uh, Margaret and Rosemary, who are past now, uh, great singers. And uh, uh, they were all, all of my family, you know, my brother Francie plays the box. Uh, and, uh, my brother Brendan sings, and my sister Catherine and Patricia and Bernie um, all sing a bit there. And, uh, you know, I thought I'd like to mention too, uh, Seamus MacDonald, I mentioned at the end there. Seamus played the accordion with the Pride of Erin, and uh, him and his uh, brother Jared and Murray uh, used to take me uh, all over the place playing music, and uh, great friends still to this day. and. Uh, Hopefully I'll get a chance to see them again. I haven't been home in a little while with the, the pandemic now. But, uh, and uh, I did do another little video at the end of this one coming up on the whistles where I, I used one of those apps. So uh, it's uh, a little out of sync in places just, uh, but uh, anyway, I thought I'd let it roll anyway. But, uh, you know, uh, when you're playing growing up, you know, that there's so, there was, as I said, you know, it's hard to, you know, uh, apologize again if I left anybody out, but uh, uh, I'll try and soldier on here with a few more tunes anyway. And um, I thought maybe I'd play, uh, uh, I don't know about saying this isn't Kevin, I might try and give a, a, a Kevin tune uh, uh, or, or run out. Um, I think it's, I believe it's called The Starry Road to Monaghan by Ed Reavy, the great Ed Reavy. And then a Fermanagh tune um, from, uh, written by the great uh, Fintan McManus called um, <coughs> The Bazooki Player's Nightmare. So here goes. Thank <laughs> you. 
So uh, I'm going to go on here with, uh, this is a tune I learned from my dad uh, uh, many years ago now, I guess, and uh, when I was going first playing in the, I guess, uh, tin whistle competitions when I was a kid and uh, having to learn, you know, like a slow air, I guess, you know, you start off with a few marches or whatever, but um, um, boy, I must have been maybe 13 or so when I learned this, but um, many moons ago now though, but uh, um, um, I think I've heard different names on it, but he called it a Spalpine's Dream and uh, used to play it at the, the, the Fla there way back many times. And uh, I might go into a, a hard pipe or two, uh, see how it goes. And uh, the, the first one hard pipe, I think, Kind of an unusual tune that I got um, of Liz Carroll here in Chicago. Uh, I think it was from a box player that lived here called Tony Lowe. And uh, then another hornpipe, if I if I get through it, if I get to it. And I think it, it might have been from Seamus Egan um, from Philadelphia that I uh, it came from. But uh, uh, I might not get to that, So, but I might get to one of them, but we'll see how it goes. So um, I'll give it a go anyway.
Here's a few reels. I got this from an old Keeley band uh, tape of my dad's. Uh, no idea where it comes from. And um, the second one uh, is a Mark Mulher tune called Caramel uh, Mahoney's, I believe. And uh, thanks very much to Martin for having me. And uh, I'm a bit rusty here, but uh, I'll give it my best shot here. So thanks.
Thanks so much. I'm going to play a couple of jigs for you. Um, these jigs are a wee bit different in the fact that they are all song jigs and they come from different parts of Ireland, particularly the Gaeltacht or the Irish speaking areas. The first tune is called Taimse Agus Moya and it comes from the Muscree Gaeltacht in County Cork. And the second tune is called Saif Ní Vrinla and it comes from the west of Ireland, uh, Connemara, and it's a very popular song there. The third song is also from the west of Ireland and it was popularised by Clamod and it's called Chair a Wallaroo. And the last little jig is a little jig that I learned from the great singer from Cork called Nelly Cronin and it's called Talia Niginkara. So I'm going to need to salt as a couple of parts. I'm going to play a Highland and two reels. The Highland is the well-known tune called the Monaghan Twig, but I've turned it into a Highland. And then I play the reel version of the same tune after that. And then into another reel called the Irish American. <laughs>
Benim Aygaf. Tanrım.